Hello, my 3D printer peeps. I'm sitting here next to a Coconi EC2 Smart Mini 3D printer. Inside this box is a tiny little 3D printer that's packed with all kinds of cool features, including a wireless app, a built-in camera, and a full enclosure. As usual, I have been paid zero dollars to cover this printer and no demands or requests for review content or opinions have been made of me. Every piece of content I create from this moment forward is created at my own free will and any opinion stated is of my own with no outside motivations whatsoever. That said, if you think this thing is cool and if I think this thing is cool and you decide to go ahead and buy one, there is an affiliate link in the description. Again, as per usual, I avoid any type of review content and instead show you what this printer is and how to use it so you can decide if you like it and want one for yourself. However, if I do like it, I will be sure you know about it. If I don't like it, you will know because it will go away from my future content uploads. <laughs> Coconi has been a very communicative and friendly company, and they were kind enough to offer me the choice of color for my printer and the filament. I went with white for the printer, black for the filament. Let's open it up and see how cool this little thing really is. This is how the package showed up for me. I'm not sure how it will show up for you. It was delivered by a FedEx. So it appears there's about 14 layers of black garbage bag type material. I will get through this eventually. It appears I have freed the first box and perhaps second box and perhaps a third box. Wonder what's in those boxes. What's in the box? All right, so everything seems to have survived. The box is in really good shape. It is their own custom branded box. It does say Coconi on the side. I like that. That's super professional and it makes me feel good when I get a new product. And the company took their time to make their own packaging. And on the side it says, this way up, fragile, keep dry, max stack is four units. I do laugh it says this way up, but they did themselves pack it like this with all these accessories piled up on top and then a garbage bag wrapped around it all. So I don't know what they were thinking there, but it does look to be in okay shape. And hopefully the printer in this box is in okay shape too. Do take note, there is a QR code on the side of this box. At the moment, I don't know what this QR code does and we're not gonna find out just now, but you may go ahead and point the camera at it to see what it does. So it turns out this box is not the Coconi EC2 3D printer packaging. It's just a box for the box. Inside this box is full retail packaging for the Coconi EC2 3D printer. And it looks so cool. Could you imagine being a kid and it's Christmas or Hanukkah or Christmaka or Kwanzaa or Festivus or whatever, and you get this. When I was a kid, I asked for Transformers and He-Man, okay? I played with color forms and shrinky dinks. Looking at this thing absolutely hurts my brain. What a time to be alive, man. Let's pop this guy out of the box and set it up. On my packaging, there is no tape, so we'll go ahead and just pull this tab on the side, stick your finger in the hole on top of the box, and open the lid. It'll fold out like this. Inside the box we have a Coconi quality assurance. I suppose this tells us an actual human being inspected this unit and decided it was good enough to send over to you, or in this case, to me. Do pay attention to this bag. Inside the bag, you will find this little Bowden clip, put it somewhere safe, several pieces of square painter's tape, do not fold or crumple these. Keep them flat, smooth, and intact. Put them somewhere safe. Four yellow stickers. 
Do not fold, damage, or crumple them. Put them somewhere safe. And a little user manual that is quite detailed and full of little pictures and graphics and diagrams to help you with your setup process. And right here is the coolest thing ever. I'm going to frame this and put it on my wall. It is a letter from Coconi thanking me for being willing to collaborate with them. Thank you, Coconi. And then the rest of you normal peeps will find your printer nestled underneath this top cardboard layer. Let's reach in and gently work it off. It's a little deeper than you might think, so do be careful and slide it up smoothly. You can see the quality of this packaging. The printer was nestled quite well inside this, and there's no doubt that this packaging helps the printer survive its journey to my house and yours. And here it is, the printer nestled inside this box, and there's this adorable little printer guy plug thing sitting here in the box. Let's pull it out and see what that is. It looks like this little guy is a print test used during the QC process. This is a single color printer. So they printed this in one color and somebody at Coconi took the time to hand paint this little guy for me. And I assume they hand painted one for you as well. So cool. To safely remove your printer from the packaging, locate this slot right here, slide your fingers inside and gently lift upward on the printer and place it on your table. Do take note that inside the box, underneath the printer, you will find the power cable. Mine was sitting loose under the printer. I do find that a little odd and somewhat concerning. I don't know why the AC adapter wasn't packed like the rest of the accessories and why the printer was left sitting on top of it. Perhaps this is an unusual situation specific to the packaging of my printer, but I don't know for sure. However, here is the AC adapter. It was sitting underneath my printer in the box and it looks to be in perfectly acceptable condition. One final item remaining in the box was a pair of tweezers. Something interesting to note within the packaging is that there is another form fitting box that was under the printer, keeping the printer in place and a significantly thick layer of foam padding protecting that as well. Kudos Kokomi on excellent packaging, top grades. You should now be left with your printer, your orange stickers, your blue stickers, your Bowden clip, one accessory box, two accessory box, three accessory box, AC adapter, and user manual. Don't try this at home, kids. Wait a second. This is a kid's printer. Do try this at home, kids. You got this. Finally, let's rescue this printer from its plastic bag. Much to my surprise, this is a Ziploc bag. Now that the printer is out of the bag, we will go ahead and assemble it. Congratulations, we're done assembling it. What a time to be alive. Your Coconi EC2 3D printer comes out of the box fully assembled. It's a beautiful thing. So here it is, the Coconi EC2 3D printer. Let's have a closer look. This is the inside of the printer. Pop open the door and you will find a piece of protective foam that is doing, I don't know what, and expose the inside of the printer where you will be immediately greeted by the rather large print head. Upon closer inspection, you will notice the usual suspects. We have a Bowden tube. We have a coupler, the hot end behind the hot end cooling fan. And nestled way back there in the printer is the tiny little 100 by 100 print bed. Those of you with a keen eye will notice the print bed and the hot end are riding on dual rails, which is the same modern technology that printers such as the Ender 3 version 3 SE, Bamboo Lab P1P, P1S, K1, and K1 Max are using. Hiding way in the back, you will see a powerful full-size stepper motor running this whole thing, utilizing a series of belts. Okay, so your printer is right here. 
What's in all of this stuff, which may not be included with your printer, it depends what you bought, is an extra roll of filament. I do believe this roll to be black. All of the filament for Coconi EC2 comes in a proprietary casing. This is a very important note. Here is the filament for the EC2 printer. They come inside these proprietary cases. And on the bottom of these cases is a small QR code. That QR code is how you tell the app which filament is loaded in the printer. However, on the box the filament came in, that QR code is also present. I highly recommend cutting it out and sticking it somewhere that you can easily access it to scan it with your app at any time and not having to rely on the little QR code on the bottom of this filament container. And there it is, the complete unboxing and unpacking of the Coconi EC2 Smart Mini 3D printer. It's worth noting, the printer itself came with a spool of filament pre-installed. I have no idea what color it is. This little printer looks absolutely adorable and I cannot wait to set it up. Now that you have your printer fully unboxed and ready for use, go ahead and catch my video going over the complete setup and your very first test print. I'll see you there. You're on the 3D Rundown YouTube channel. I'm Greg Adventure, your instructor on 3drundown.com and unboxing this adorable little Coconi EC2 Smart 3D printer was today's adventure. We will go ahead and do the Hey.